Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky Mess 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. I'm also a brain injury survivor. So if you're interested in that and uh, my recovery story and my journey, that is also linked in the description box down below. Look after your brains. <laughs> right. Um, my brain injury was caused by cysts on my brain and they were triggered or ruptured because of a cough. So yeah, look after your brains, guys. They're very delicate. Um, sorry about the noise in the background. Sally, my robot vacuum, is cleaning downstairs. Um, in today's video, I, it's basically a can't be bothered clean up. So when I couldn't have been bothered to clean up and now I'm tidying it all up. Oh gosh. Um, I am swollen because of my brain injury and the steroids I've been on. The swelling is coming down very slowly. But yeah, that's a whole other story. If you're interested, check out my playlist. Um, I'm going to be making the bed, cleaning the kitchen and just a general tidy up and so if you're interested please keep watching and let's jump straight into it. I apologize again as i said my cat is going to the vet in a bit so he is not happy that i've locked him inside um the first thing i'm going to do once i've made my bed is i've had a basket of laundry here since yesterday and my general rule of thumb is one load a day and put it away but i haven't been well enough to get the laundry folded and put away so i'm going to tackle that this morning because i'm feeling a lot better so here we go and i do apologize i do keep tissues in my bra because I don't, one, I don't have pockets and two, when you take your bra off, they fall to the floor so you can put them in the bin instead of them going through the washing machine. That is my real reason why I leave bra, uh, tissues in my bra as well as I have a toddler and there is always a need for a tissue. There's my cat moaning that he wants to go out. No, Don't you just love it when you're putting washing away and you find a tub in the drawer and I'll show you what's in the tub. Oh, look, it's a quality street tub, not sponsored. And it is empty. Goodness knows why I've got an empty tub in my pajama drawer. Anyway, and no, it wasn't me. <laughs> Again, apologize about my cat. Right, I'm folding fitted sheets here. All I do is put the two corners into, it doesn't matter which two corners, into each other. And then the other two corners into those two corners and then flip it over so that all four corners, sorry, are in one corner. I know, darling. I know, you tell mummy. I know, mummy's horrible. But... Right, backstory. My cat has been, since I come out of hospital, my cat, he used to be under my feet constant. Um, but since I've got home, he just, he, he basically ran away and he's only been a few doors up and I keep bringing him home and he just sits and moans at me all the time, uh, like he's doing now. But obviously his inoculations are due. Well, you've made, mate, you've got a really swollen tummy, darling. Um, his inoculations are due, so I'm taking him to the vet and then we'll let him out again. But, um, he's not a happy bunny. But since I've got home, he, he just doesn't really want to know me, so... Whereas the other two cats just want to sort of like be around me. So I think he's just a bit anxious that I'm sick. But he's here and he does purr when he's with me. Like he's purring now. But well, if he's not like under my hand, he's, for lack of a better term, swearing at me. But we'll get him to the vet today and we'll see what the docky says. Hey. 
Yeah, now he's trying to swipe me. Okay, so I've put all the four corners into each other and they literally fold into a square as you'll see here. And then you can fold them down and then you get a nice little parcel. So I put two corners into the corner that you've just seen me flip it over. And then it literally folds into like a square or a rectangle. This is a single fitted sheet. And then look, I've got a nice neat parcel. So if you've got a problem with folding fitted sheets, definitely use that hack. I've got another one here. It also works for mat mattress protectors, double sheets, any size. Um, also have a look at my hacks video that I show you in very slow motion how you actually can fold these so easily to make a nice little parcel. And I don't know why, but I like rub the sheet every time I fold it. You'll see on the other sheets as I'm folding them, I, I sort of like rub them flat. I know it's obviously to get rid of creases, but I didn't realize I did it that much until I came to editing. Okay, there's one thing I hate is sneezing. Unless I'm not sick, as in I haven't got a cold or anything, then it's so refreshing. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite bodily motion. I mean, I really like cleaning my ears. Yeah, I know, boy. And I really like um, sneezing as long as I'm not sick. When you're sick, it just clogs up your nose. So let me know in the comments what do you enjoy. Do you enjoy cutting your nails, filing your nails, cleaning your ears? I just find it so therapeutic. And obviously the obvious, but please keep it clean in the comments. Now, if there's one thing I have noticed since I've been off the steroids or in this post-medication recovery stage is that I'm doing things that are really, really silly, stupid. And I think, why did I do that? Like, you'll see in a second, watch the front box on my knees. It just goes flying. I literally pushed it off my knees. You'll see here. Yep, idiot. <laughs> So, I mean, I've put like the um, kettle in the fridge. I've put the milk in the cupboard. Um, I've just done some really silly things. And I go, why have I done that? But I know everybody does silly things at silly times. And you put your car keys in, I don't know, the fridge or whatever. But there's just some things that I'm really doing that are really, really annoying me. Also, I'll show you in a second. Ice. Okay, backstory, I don't know if you've seen the video, but my daughter came to me about 12, 18 months ago, probably a bit longer than that, actually, and said, Mummy, there's somebody in the kitchen. I'm like, um, right, the back door's locked. What does she on about? And then it turns out, um, a little while later, I was looking through some photographs, and it was photographs of my grandfather um, when I was a toddler. I mean, he died when I was seven. And we were on the beach and she came, she was looking at the photos with me and she said, mummy, mummy, that's the man in the photos. The, you know, the man in the photos is the man in the kitchen. And I'm like, what? Anyway, I was doing her hair yesterday morning or when I was filming this and we were in the bathroom. Her hair box was on the windowsill and you'll see it in a bit, but the hair box just flew off the window. I mean, it wasn't on the edge or anything else. It just flew and everything just went everywhere, all over the floor, all in the basin. And my daughter and I looked at each other. And we both in, at the exact same time went, wasn't me. <laughs> so was somebody, the window wasn't open or anything else. Was somebody in my bathroom? That's scary. And then you'll see again later when I'm washing the dishes, one of my scrub daddies just went flying off the hook. How? Was, is was and is somebody in my house now I don't believe but I'm open-minded and there's been two robins in my garden for the last three days is there somebody watching over me 
as I'm sick, not, you know, being a hypochondriac or poor me syndrome or anything like that, but as I'm sick, I'm wondering whether my grandfather's watching over me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Here you can see my bathroom floor. Obviously, I can't really bend down properly. So you can see the box was sealed, but everything was everywhere. The basin was full. I have pulled everything out because I needed to clean the basin out. Excuse me. But you can see everything is just everywhere. And I just want to know how, why. <laughs> To clean my room and the surfaces, just the basic dusting, I'm using the pink e-cloth multi-purpose cloth. Um, all it uses is water to remove bacteria, 99.9% .9 bacteria. So that's all I use to clean my house and dust and everything. They are damp. Um, and then I also use like a moisturizer with a tint in it. So I don't use self-tan anymore because it looks like somebody has... Um, orange peeled my bed but uh, my skin has been so dry that I'm just using the moisturizer and because I haven't really been outside why not give myself a little bit of a glow so yes I am cheating and I'm using a tinted moisturizer now it's time to take my medication oh yeah um, this is not sponsored by e-cloth or anything I am just a true e-cloth yeah, addict I love my e-cloths and I use them all around the house the kitchen dusting and everything else now obviously the cloth has been rinsed out and I'm going to attack the fan the fan i'll be honest hasn't been cleaned probably since about march so it is proper or properly disgusting and thick with dust and obviously it's been on a lot over the last few weeks with a heat wave and i will show you what state the e-cloth is in now and literally that is just water and you can see how much dust has come off and all i need to do is rinse it and i can reuse it so that's what i'm going to do and then i'm going to wipe, wipe down my other surfaces <laughs> My landing windowsill, I'll be honest, is another place that's become a little bit of a dumping ground. I have obviously lost the bathroom door, which we've now got on tracks, as you can see there. So I've got the bathroom scrubber that goes onto the drill just dumped on the windowsill at the moment. I need to find a home for it. But oh, actually, I've just thought of a place for it to go that will be out of sight um, and still accessible. But there is a wasp on the window, so I'm going to clean him off and then him, her, it off. And then I'm going to clean the windowsill. And just tidy it up a bit because it's really, really dusty. It hasn't been cleaned probably since about the middle of May. Obviously, I know, darling. Um, I got sick at the end of May, so yeah, it's been a fair while, and I just have another space I've neglect neglected. <laughs>
recording because I took my cat to the vet yesterday uh, for his inoculations. He didn't get his inoculations, but they found a mass on his stomach, so they sent him up to the local hospital, the animal hospital, obviously. They did an ultrasound scan, they did blood tests, and found that he had um, cancer of the liver and he was in a lot of pain. So, unfortunately, we had to put him to sleep. I'm really heartbroken, but I was there when it happened, and I'll put a picture in here for you where you can see actually the mark on the window he's got like a little teardrop which is so sad and only you noticed this last night <laughs> so rest in peace Grippo. we love you <laughs> going to see the scrub daddy go flying off <clears throat> have a look at the pink one there that's hanging up i will zoom in in a second and watch it fly off now as i said earlier they're so weird because there you go it just flew off <laughs> so weird but it's actually the anniversary of my grandfather's death so i don't know whether he must be watching over me it's just too ironic anyway <laughs> Like I said, I don't believe, but I'm open-minded.
That's my kitchen done and my bedroom done and all the laundry done. So guys, look after yourselves, take care, make sure you stay safe, look after each other and life's too short. Look after your brains and look after your family. And I will see you in the next one. Take care guys, see you, bye.